This video is proudly brought to you by the Wildlife Diversity Program at the Texas Parks and Wildlife Department. Every year in late spring and early summer, young striped skunks, called kids, are commonly observed in urban areas. But what should you do when you see these critters? Well, like all wildlife encounters, view from a safe distance and give the animal their space. This includes preventing children and pets from approaching the animal. If you're concerned that the kits are orphaned, be patient and observe their activities. Young skunks are prone to venturing away from their den while their mother is out foraging, but often the mother is not too far off. Kits appearing energetic and curious is a good sign that they're not orphaned. These kits were observed for about 20 minutes before their mother and sibling arrived. All too often young wildlife are captured by humans that assume the animal was abandoned when it isn't the case. If you repeatedly see a young skunk without its mother, it may indeed be orphaned. If so, contact your local animal control to get in touch with a wildlife rehabilitator. While rabies is a concern of the skunks, the disease is still quite rare. Just because the animal is active during the daylight does not automatically mean it's ill. Rabid skunks may appear disoriented, but don't confuse that characteristic with young, uncoordinated kits playing and exploring their surroundings. Also, skunks have poor eyesight and are very well respected by other wildlife. Therefore, they are not prone to immediately running away from a potential threat. That behavior is often misconstrued as showing aggression or a lack of fear of humans. If you don't feel threatened by these critters, take time to enjoy a viewing opportunity of Native Texas Wildlife, and please share your observations with the Mammals of Texas Project on iNaturalist. Your observations are valuable to the conservation of striped skunks in Texas.